So how does animation work? Like how do you get timed movement um, in, a, in an app? And you know, this is, this is really important computer science concept. Um, I've got a canvas and an image sprite, a spaceship set up here already. How can I get this guy to move across the screen? All right. And in App Inventor, what you do is you, you drag in a clock component. And it serves as like an alarm clock. Okay, the clock component it can kind of trigger activity. It's got a time rentable property, which tells you how often it will trigger activity. Right now, it's set to 1,000 milliseconds. A millisecond is a one one-thousandth of a second. So this is one second. All right. So now let's go over to the blocks. And what I want to do is I want to move my sprite every second, let's say. Okay. So if I go to the clock component, there's this very important event called clock.timer. Okay. And this thing is going to get triggered every timer interval. So every one second, whatever I put in these blocks is going to happen. So what I really want to do is every one second move that spaceship a, a little ways, right? And, and what I'm going to do is left to right, so horizontal. So what I want to do is change the sprite's X coordinate. Okay, so if I click on the sprite drawer and there is a block down here to set the X coordinate of the sprite. Okay, X horizontal means move this guy over. Okay, and then I also need to grab a get from the same drawer. So I need to find out where the thing is because what I want to do is I want to move the sprite relative to its current location, right? I don't want to move it to a particular place. I just want to move it a little to the right, okay? So I'm also going to need a plus operator, okay? So what I want to do is I'm going to want to change the X coordinate to what it is and then plus some number. So I'm just going to say three, okay? And what I'm going to do is change the X coordinate by three. So if it's at 100, Every second, it'll move three pixels, so it'll be 103, 106, etc. Now, as soon as I stick this in, you know, right now I've got my phone running, and it's being projected on the screen. As soon as I stick this in, these timers are being triggered, and it's going to start moving the the spaceship over to to the right. So let me stick it in. Um, sorry, my phone went out. Let's see, bring it back up, and you should see that guy slowly moving across the screen. Okay, so every second it's moving three pixels. Not exactly exciting, right? But, but we can change how often it happens. So right now, every second it's moving three. If I go back to the designer, I can change this guy to, I don't know, 100, okay? And usually App Inventor will restart the, the kind of live testing that's going on here. So I think it's gonna restart here, here in a second. And yeah, as you can see, it's gonna go a little smoother, a little, a little faster. I could try one more time, and you know, so the time interval. If you set it to 20, that means that you know this this thing is going to change. Let's see, 50 times a second. So that's a pretty fast frame rate. Okay. So if I change it to 20, you should see that guy zip across pretty pretty quick. So here he comes. Yeah, it's pretty pretty quick movement. So anyway, that's how you can kind of do smooth animation. And you can fiddle with the time interval to get a, a better frame rate and to get that thing moving the speed, speed you want.